Next thing, let's talk about the locker room. What we got? Ooh. As a Florida fan, this one hits. This one hits, but you know what? I'm, I'm happy for Florida. I'm not happy we lost. Happy for Florida. Billy might have saved his saved his job, right? Billy might have Billy might have saved his job. And now again, I was one of the people that were saying, like, you know, who might be the next coach to replace him. There's still some rumors out there, but I think Billy is saving his job. So even in a loss, this game excited. This game excited me, you know, because the team is not quitting on Billy Napier. The team is playing hard for Billy Napier. They're competitive in these last couple of games. They're about to go through their hardest stretch of the schedule. I believe they have Texas next week. But Texas coming off a bye. This team is playing hard week in, week out. And they're playing a lot of young guys. They're playing a lot of young guys. For me, it's about next year. It's not about this year. It's about next year. You got a young team, you got a young team getting experience. Make sure you recruit those guys to stay. You got DJ Lagway, unfortunately, got hurt, hurt his hamstring. Who knows how long he's out for? You had Aiden Warner come in to play quarterback, our third string quarterback. Um, but it's about next year. It is about next year because we're going to have an experienced quarterback. We're going to have experienced young guys. We're going to be a young team. You just get some beef on that offensive line, spend a little money in that transfer portal, by the bang, by the boom. Florida, we back. Florida, we back. Georgia, on the other hand. I'm not saying it's just because I'm a Florida fan, but Georgia is not who you think they are. Georgia is not who you think they are. Georgia, I'm telling you, Georgia is not who you think they are. That that win versus Texas is fraudulent. I think Georgia is fraudulent. Like Carson Beck, eh, not great through three picks. He's not really seeing the field. He, he Same against Texas. He threw a couple picks in that game too, right? Georgia might lose to Tennessee, honestly, at this rate. They can't run the ball. Uh Travis Etienne or Trevor Etienne, whoever the younger brother is, former Gator, I don't really care anymore, uh, got hurt, your, your top running back. Um, the defense, they're, they're young on the back end, so they get, they've get been getting exposed in the passing game. They almost lost to a freshman, third-string quarterback for Florida in A.A. Warner. I'm telling you right now, Georgia is a fraudulent team. All right? And, again, will they, even, will they make it to the SEC? Championship probably because Texas A&M fell for the fell for the trap, right? So it was looking like another possible Texas Georgia rematch. We'll see, but again, I think Georgia at this rate might lose to Tennessee. All right, D- don't get me wrong, we're still way better than my than Miami. All right, we we just talked about the Miami situation, still way better than Miami, but Georgia is a fraudulent team. Be careful. Be careful when uh when you pick in uh when you pick in Georgia in your in your in your parlays or picking or saying Georgia is the best team in the SEC. I don't think that's the case. I don't think Georgia's I I don't I, Georgia doesn't beat Oregon right now. Hell. Oh.